According to the American Cancer Society, 2 million Americans will be diagnosed with some form of the disease this year alone. In our HealthCast today, we're going to share the story of a Fort Lauderdale woman who's beating the odds against an especially aggressive type of cancer. Five years ago, Katrina Rocky Moore was just relaxing at home when she suddenly felt like she was having a heart attack. My chest felt is so heavy. You know, like if you stand up, it's like this. You know, like you're going to fall over. And I'm like, that heaviness was actually stage four lung cancer that had already spread to her brain. Brain metastasis, brain spread from lung cancer is very common. So for this reason, if we diagnose a patient with lung cancer, we screen the brain regardless of the patient's symptoms. Along with metastatic disease, Dr. Mehmet Hefger, a hematologist oncologist with Broward Health North, is seeing more cases of two primary cancers. Which means that the patient has a one primary cancer and during treatment or at the same time of diagnosis, the patient may have another primary in a different location. Treating either of the two primary cancers or metastatic cancer that affects two vital organs requires novel approaches. Let's see if the patient has a a mutation that we can target, uh, we give the patient specific treatment for that target. After undergoing surgery, chemo, and radiation, Katrina's cancer is in remission, and she's back to doing the things she loves. I want everybody to know, just because you're handed a, a, a cancer diet, nothing, that does not mean it's a death sentence. And that's very true. Now, according to the American Cancer Society, 18% of cancer survivors were diagnosed more than 20 years ago, and those odds are definitely increasing.